Do you guys foresee any kind of similar working group coming together to pressure governments in the region to make their customs and duties processes simpler? Yeah, so, so uh, the, the, the idea was to have a campaign where all the e-commerce companies in the region, this is Nemshi's idea, it's not my idea, uh, all the e-commerce companies in the region come together and they do a, a massive campaign uh, to, to educate the Arab consumer about shopping online from Arab uh, e-commerce websites. Uh, now, in terms of lobbying governments or in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, working with governments directly uh, to change some of the policies and to affect uh, the environment such that e-commerce can, can exist in, in a much more efficient uh, uh, manner, uh, this is something that we're already doing. So we are in touch with the Jordanian government, uh, we're in touch with the uh, Emirates uh, uh, government, we're in touch with the Qatari government, and the Saudi government as well. And, and we're, we're always uh, trying very hard to convince them of all of the benefits of people shopping online, uh, especially, you know, for example, uh, in, in, in areas where there's uh, traffic congestions, uh, people, you know, going to the malls of, uh, you know, gas emissions, um, um, you know, things, things of that nature. But this is going to take a lot of time uh, because, you know, the government processes uh, are, are quite slow. There's a lot of bureaucracy. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, 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 money to be lost and made. Uh, you know, there's exclusivities on the ground, so people are going to fight e-commerce, uh, or they're going to they're going to hinder or uh, uh, the, the the growth of e-commerce. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely something that I think uh, that regionally uh, all the e-commerce companies need to work on, form some sort of a of a group uh, uh, that represents the industry uh, with with these governments. It's actually a good idea. So, I mean, our take has been is uh, initially, I mean, what we would want to do with government is basically highlight the opportunities. Uh, if we wait too long for regulations and put our strategies around those, it could take a while. But since we're a platform, um, our mission as a platform was always to empower others, not just us, to benefit from e-commerce. And I think that sets our mission a bit bigger than the company itself in terms of the opportunities for providing for thousands of sellers, for example, in Egypt. And I think as that volume starts to come up, then we'll have, we'll create entrepreneurs who not only are online savvy, but could be product savvy, be it in textiles, be it in hand craft, be it in even making parts and electronics and certain devices. So I think as that volume grows, we're able to go back and maybe facilitate more. Uh, I think when it comes to customs economy, there's a bigger play, as Ahmed alluded to, in terms of how company uh, countries are structured, the tax structure, their import duties. So having, I think, a special law only for e-commerce will probably not mean. So we're seeing that those two words quite a bit uh, uh, kind of convolute, and they converge to become one. You're importing products. So I'm not seeing that can change very quickly. I change is that. We have more people using e-commerce. We have to earn the trust of our customers. So Amazon doesn't offer, for example, COD. We are offering COD. So by giving choice, you're naturally allowing your customers to choose. And why we are giving that choice? Because of the consumer behavior and how they feel e-commerce is working. And maybe part of it is because not all of us are delivering quickly. Some Sometimes products come late. The couriers say Tuesday. It comes on Sunday. Uh, so people say, OK, I'll pay when it comes. So it's more of a, the ecosystem that has to change. As we scale, Ahmed alluded to that, we are able to be in a position to, I think, work with the private sector, the sector entities. There are banks, regulation, taxes, but this is every business deals with. 